at 40 and 13. I mean, I don't know if you had a projection, but when you start, when you open a season, did you see things going as well as they have in terms of your record? Uh, I wouldn't have predicted 40 wins at this stage, but I, I did feel going into the season that we were going to be really good based on how we finished last year, based on Clay coming back, based on, you know, Jordan's progression last year, Andrew's uh, development within the, the style that we play. Um, so I felt really good coming into this season. I think we all did, um, but it's, it, we had no idea, you know, what our record might be. So we're, uh, we're really excited that, that we are where we are, especially given uh, some of the injuries we've had and uh, the way the young players have fit so nicely into the season with their own development, you know, not harming, you know, the bigger picture of, uh, of, you know, wins and losses. Uh, in fact, actually doing the opposite, really, those guys have helped us win games. So kind of the, the, the best case scenario to this point, um, but we all know that things change the drop of a hat in the NBA. So we, we have to stay vigilant and, and uh, keep working and, and we can't take anything for granted. And, and how much more remarkable do you consider that when you look at Clay has missed half the season, um, Draymond's missing a significant amount of season. Andre's missed half the season. I mean, when all those things, and James hasn't played, when you look at all those things, it, is it even that much more like, okay, we're onto something or? Yeah, it, it, uh, given all those factors, I think, um, I think that's where I look at the, you know, the first 20 games or so when we really, you know, we got off to, I think, 18 and two start, uh, best defense through that spell. Um, the new additions, Otto, uh, belly, um, the, the rookies, the, uh, you know, Andre coming back. It, it felt like during that span, we sort of s cemented our identity. And, uh, once you have a, a foundation and identity, uh, then it's much easier to withstand the, uh, the ups and downs of injuries and adversity of any kind. So I thought that first, uh, whatever it was, six weeks of the season was just huge and setting the table for the rest of the year. And and now we have a, a much deeper level of confidence that allows us to get through the, uh, the difficult stretches. And the last question on this subject is, does, that, does the record that you have now give you and your staff more latitude to sort of experiment and try different things? Is that a factor in, in the way you approach the games in terms of how you use guys? I think a little bit. It's it's not really a, a conscious thing where we're, you know, really saying, hey, you know, we can do this or we can do that. It's more there's a comfort level day to day that, all right, we know we're we're in good shape, you know, mentally, spiritually. Uh, we know that we have a really good foundation as a team, and so we're very quick to to try something different. Uh, but it's not like we're consciously saying, hey, let's try this or let's try that. Um, but it, I think it's uh, we've just got a really um, good vibe. And uh, we've tried a lot of different lineup combinations that have continued to to work. And uh, I think, like I said, that's that's based on a, a talented, deep roster and a good good foundation that we established in the first month. Is this the best team you've ever been on? And what's this? Can you speak over low? Is this the best team you've ever been on? And what's this been like having been through the rough years here to be 40 wins this point in the season? Um, I mean, I hate to like put a label on like best team because like, each team has, you know, its own year. Um, but it's definitely fun. I mean, we got a lot of guys that are bought in. Um, a lot of guys that just understand what, you know, the system brings and how the system has had success. And we have great leaders. Um, I mean, obviously bringing Andre back, but you know, you can you can go down the line and see the the room and growth of how guys have stepped into different roles as being leaders, whether it's Clay, Steph, Draymond, um, even Wiggs. So, you know, it's 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 dope. Um, definitely a great group of guys. Uh, I love them. I mean, they're all they're all brothers to me. No matter what connection we have, we we've gone through. Um, it's dope. Let's go Warriors. Let's go Warriors. <laughs> Let's go Warriors. 
I, I've I've seen stuff. We'll arrive at a hotel in a city at you know two o'clock in the morning. There's people out there, and I I see him. He goes over and signs autographs.